Today, in a world where America is considering retiring its oldest fifth-generation fighter and is about to test its sixth-generation fighter, Russia is still considering producing a low-end fifth-generation fighter by the end of the decade. Much of what is known about the Su-75 comes from dramatic releases by Russian companies. If the Su-75 is produced as advertised, it will be an attractive, cheaper, yet still capable aircraft for countries with limited budgets. It is touted as a fifth-generation fighter with stealth features, especially at the front. It will be the successor to air fleets around the world. The aircraft is equipped with a fifth-generation avionics system. It is a modern platform, which includes a wide-view system that instantly alerts the pilot to threats. The complex allows you to exchange information with other combat units. The OB is characterized by high noise immunity. The aircraft is equipped with an integrated electronic countermeasures and defense system that does not allow the enemy to detect itself and use weapons. Low radar signature and advanced long-range passive detection systems allow the aircraft to take control of the operational tactical situation and move silently within the range of guaranteed target destruction. Onboard avionics in minimal configuration with built-in ESA radar allows you to attack six and track up to 30 air targets simultaneously or track two land or sea targets simultaneously in conditions of strong electronic jamming. The aircraft is designed in such a way as to simplify personnel access to the system without specialized airfield equipment. The fighter is equipped with a built-in auxiliary power unit. Thanks to artificial intelligence in the cockpit, pre-flight control does not require human presence. This solution will allow the fighter to be prepared for launch in a short time, even in the absence of special means, which in turn will affect the combat survivability of the entire fleet. 